Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find which one of the following options are the correct one. So here, basically, we need to find out the power that is being absorbed or the delivered by these independent and the dependent sources. And to find that, first of all, let us find this current I X and the voltage at this node. So let's say the voltage at this node. Is equal to Vx, and by applying the KCL at this node, we can easily find this voltage Vx and the current Ix. So if we apply the KCL at this node, then we can say that this Vx divided by this 400 plus 200 ohm, that is this current plus 2 Ix, that is this current, that is equal to Ix, that is this incoming current. Or from this, we can say that. This current I X is equal to minus V X divided by 600 ohm. So let's say this is the equation number one. Now here, if you observe, then this current I X is equal to 40 minus this V X divided by 500 ohm. So if we put this value of current I X in the first equation, then we can write it as this 40 minus V X divided by 500 ohm. That is equal to Minus V X divided by 600 ohm. So here on the both sides, these two zeros will get cancel out. And further, we can write it as this six times this 40 minus V X that is equal to minus five times V X. And if we further simplify it, then the value of the V X will come out as 240 volt. That means the voltage at this node or this V X is equal to 240 volt. And now By putting the value of V X in the first equation, we can easily find the current I X. That means this current I X is equal to minus V X divided by 600 ohm, or that is equal to minus 240 volt divided by 600 ohm. That is equal to minus 0.4 ampere. That means this current I X is equal to minus 0.4 ampere. So here, since the sign of this current is negative, it means that This current I X is flowing in the reverse direction. That means here, for this 40 volt independent source, this 0.4 ampere current is flowing into this positive terminal. Now, if you are aware, then for any independent or the dependent voltage source, if the current is going away from this positive terminal, it means that the source is supplying or the delivering the power. But on the other end, if the current is flowing into the positive terminal, It means that it is the absorbing the power. So in this case, since this 0.4 ampere current or this I X is entering into this positive terminal, it means that this 40 volt source is absorbing the power, and the absorbed power is equal to 40 volt times 0.4 ampere, that is equal to 16 watt. It means that this 40 volt voltage source is absorbing the power of 16 watt. Similarly. Let us find out the absorbed or the delivered power for this dependent source. So here, the value of this dependent source is equal to 2 Ix, and here, since the Ix is equal to minus 0.4 ampere, so we can say that this current is flowing in the reverse direction, or in other words, the direction of this current source is reversed. So here, this voltage Vx is equal to 240 volt. That means the voltage across the two terminals of this dependent source. Is equal to 240 volt. So for the any current source, if the voltage across the current source is positive, or in other words, if the positive terminal of the voltage is towards the arrow head and the negative terminal is towards the tail of the current source, it means that the current source is delivering the power. On the other end, if the negative terminal is towards the arrow head and the positive terminal is towards the tail of the current source, then in that case, the current source is absorbing the power. So in this case, as you can see, the voltage across the current source is positive. That means here, the positive terminal of the voltage is towards the arrow head of the current source. That means in this case, this dependent current source is delivering the power, and the delivered power is equal to 0.8 ampere times 240 volt. That is equal to 192 watt. So here, this independent current source is absorbing the power of 16 watt. While this dependent current source is delivering the power of 192 watt, that means here for the given circuit, 
if you see the four options then out of the four options only this option a is the correct answer